Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Tonight, what I am going to do is let you know what you get in the box with this. This is the latest and greatest expansion. Well, actually, I don't know if it's the greatest, but it's the latest expansion for the Disney Sorcerer's Arena board game. Um, full title being Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances Leading the Charge Expansion. This features three new characters for the skirmish battle game Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances, which is, of course, a board game based on the very popular app. The three new characters you get here are Buzz Lightyear, Elsa, and Scar. Based on the other expansions that have come out, I'm expecting to possibly also see some new status effects, some new rules, and possibly some new titles. But we'll find out once we crack this open. Before I get to that, though, thank you, The Op, for sending a review copy of this expansion along. Next step, show off the box. Cover. Side. 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 I mentioned this with the last expansion unboxing. Something I appreciate, if you like to store your games like this, you're all good. If you like to store your games like this, you're all good. I appreciate that. Back of the box, for anyone who wants to see it, again, shows off the characters and some of what you're going to get. But we got the game right here, and we're about to open it, so you don't need to see that. All right, we have a way to download the app. If you haven't played the app yet, it is free to play. Of course, there are microtransactions, but we don't care about apps here. We're worried about the board game with the new expansion. We have new characters. We have more constant abilities. So these are abilities that are always in play um, and that are always taking effect. Um, this was introduced in the first expansion, but it's obviously used in this. And we have one new status effect. What we don't have is any new tiles or anything in this particular set. And I always do appreciate the summary that kind of shows you what you need for each character and what bases go with which. Oddly, because we only have one new status effect, um, you get some blanks. So in one of the previous expansions, they gave you blank blues. This time they gave you blank reds to be used if you uh, run out of status effects or if you need additionals. Like if you run out of invulnerables for some reason. Maybe you're playing with some house rules and doing a battle royal with eight characters or something. You can use these. Um, then we're going to have it should be four immobilized. The game's already started to punch itself while it was sitting on my shelf. So we have four immobilized, or sorry, three immobilized and one invulnerable. So invulnerable must be a character effect, and then the character tokens for each of these, which of course have the red and the blue side. Again, I assume you know how to play if you're watching this, because you probably already played the base game. Then we're going to get to the character cards. All right, up first we have Elsa who has Glacial Armor, banish Elsa cards from your discard pile to make her invulnerable. So now we know where the vulnerable comes from. And she's if she's on a crown, she reveals cards on her deck, and if it's not magic, you draw it, which is interesting because multiple of the other characters in this set, the original set, drew if they were magic cards, so we have someone. She also, of course, has a special ability once you love her up, but I'll let you discover that on your own. Then we have Mr. Lightyear with Laser Focus. Does damage to a rival exactly two spaces away that was already damaged. So he's kind of like hitting someone who's already been hit. It's an interesting ability. Um, and again, he has his ability, which we'll let you discover. And then we have Scar, who's an opportunist. Discard a uh, movement card in your hand to move one character one space. If that character was... Oh, this is neat. If the character was on a crown space, Scar gets to take it. So he's got like a king of the hill. He can bump you off a crown and then move on to it. I really dig that. Plus, he has an oppressive rule ability. If he's sitting on a crown space, whenever a rival would recover health, they get that many minus one instead. Oh, oppressive. That's a bad thing. So when he's on there, whenever you heal, it, allies get healed, they get healed for one less. So that's a penalty. And again, special ability, I'll let you discover on your own. Let's move on to the actual card decks for each of these characters. First, we're going to crack the shrink on this. All right. We are, I'm not going to go through every card here to, uh, like, I'll flip through them so you can see them. I might look at a couple abilities, but I am not going to read off each one. We're going to start with Scar, who has deal damage. I suspected Scar to be a damage dealer. Uh, he's using the Fosas to do damage as well at ranged. He's got a Cinder Swipe deal damage. Wow. Yeah, okay. We have a massive deal damage. Deal five damage. Deal one damage. Oh, here. He um, makes people banish cards. Nasty character here. Move, and then he can move additional characters. So moving things around the board, as well as dealing a ton of damage, looks to be Scar's specialty. Buzz Lightyear is also seeming to be a bit of a damage dealer here. He's got his Galactic Punch. 
Um, Buddy can remove reveal top cards of his deck to move people. He's got Laser Blasts, which also do damage, but it's um you choose a straight line. So it's an indirect attack. It's good to see more ranged. Again, deal damage to one adjacent rival up to one two squares away and up to one three squares away. That's pretty good too. So we definitely have a ranged striker here. So two damage dealers in this set. You could probably make a pretty nasty team and a way to fly really quick. So that's your Buzz Lightyear. Then we get into Elsa and her ice magic, which again will immobilize people, which isn't surprising. Also deal some damage. Um, range 2 deals damage again. Move up to two spaces and discard a card so you can heal. So here's a second healer character. Each character on your team heals one. So it's good to see a second healer above Ariel who came in the base set. So that's nice to see. You got moving and damaging and doing actually multiple things. Wow, this one's really good. It's it's some Earth Giants characters. There's three of those. Nice. Um, a movement ability. And then her final thing is just the, the water work. Or sorry, the water knock. I thought it said work, which lets her move four in one move. So a third healer, or sorry, a second healer and two damage dealers. One ranged, one melee, but some neat King of the Hill style abilities as well. Now we get to the fun part of assembling the awesome collectible acrylic standees and trying to remove their awesome film. Oh, that's interesting. They're double bag. This is the latest expansion. Maybe they, they they figured out a new way to package these. So first thing I need to do is match up the bases. And I find the easiest way to do this is just reference the back of the rule book. And it just shows you who goes with what. So this one goes with Scar. Buzz probably gets this. Uh, oh, no, that's Ice, I guess. I thought that was a Starburst. And Buzz, now you get to watch as I fight with these to try to get the film off. There we go. Nice and quick. That was so much better than the core game or the other two expansions. Scar is a nice tight fit. So one of the things I will point out, look, I can lift them all up without the bases falling off. That's a big bonus. And we'll show them off quickly here. You get the awesome Elsa standee, which uh, because of its reflective nature and my desk, it's not too easy to see. But I do love the artwork they chose for these. We have Buzz, who looks a little busy compared to the rest of the characters. We have Buzz. And we have Scar, and for anyone who hasn't seen them before, these are two-sided. So you get to see both sides of the characters. So I had to say the biggest surprise for me of all things here was how much easier the uh, film that coats the acrylic standees was to get off. Uh, they swapped to a new packaging method where it's only film on one side. And I would say it's actually easier to pull off than before, especially Buzz Lightyear had a little bit that was sticking out that was really easy to pull on. So appreciate that op. Thank you for um, hearing people complain about trying to remove the film on the standees. Uh, other than that, looks like a cool set. Um, some real damage dealers, it looks like. You have the Buzz, who's all about being specific distances away from people and nailing them with, with various lasers. And you have Scar, who just had tons of damage cards, some direct, some indirect with some really cool abilities if he's the king of the hill, right? If he's on a crown. Though it does penalize the rest of the team at the same time, which I thought was kind of fascinating. Then you have Elsa, who's a new magic user, but then has the ability to look at her deck and draw cards that are non-magic. I think that's a really fascinating combo there, as well as having some healing abilities, which I think it's much needed at this point. Um, because of the number of sets that have come out, there was only one healer before. Now we at least, it looks like we have two different healers in the set. So very cool looking, awesome looking standees. Really looking forward to trying out the, yeah, I almost forgot the name. What's it called? Leading the Charge. Sorry. The Leading the Charge expansion for Disney, Sorcerer's Arena, Epic Alliances. The board game from the op. All right. Thank you. Uh, now, when I do finally start playing this, which is probably going to be as soon as this weekend, I will be talking about it on my social media feeds, which you can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop One Word. Eventually, my podcast co-host and I, Sean, will sit down and record an episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop, which will get converted to an audio podcast you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Thank you for joining me for this video. You can also head over to tabletopbellhop.com and find lots of other cool gaming content. I look forward to seeing you in our live chat on Twitch, Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. That's when we record. See you there. Good day. Game on.